Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing K-1 fiancé visas and prenuptial agreements and sort of how they interact. And what are we talking about here? We frequently see prenups being done when dealing also with the K-1 process. And, you know, the K-1 process being the process of using a visa to bring a fiancé to the United States to marry that fiance in the United States and then file for green card status, file for lawful permanent residence. Now, usually what we see is we usually draft or assist in drafting or reviewing a prenup sort of quite a ways before the visa is actually issued. Uh, issues can arise involving sort of implied duress and you wanna, you wanna, that's something you wanna carefully watch out for. So yeah, prenups are, a, are an integral part of certain, in a sense, kind of an integral part of getting one's fiance to the United States. In some cases it's not, and in some cases folks opt to have, you know, all of their, all, you know, most matters pertaining to their marital estate sort of delineated prior to the arrival of the fiance in the United States and the marriage in the United States. Again, formalities are a real issue. You wanna make sure you're dealing with somebody that knows what they're dealing with. Again, I'm an American attorney. I, I do have Thai nationality, I'm Thai, but I, I'm not a Thai attorney. The Thai attorneys here in the office deal with things like drafting the tie side of a prenuptial agreement and then you know I may assist in that or we may review a prenup where that's been done by somebody else you know and we'll review it with our client as 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 is needed so again in a sense a prenup can kind of be it kind of run that process kind of runs concurrent with the processing of a K1 fiance visa